Hey guys, it's Justine. I just wanted to share with you this awesome interview that I got a chance to do with Mr. Miyamoto, who's the creator of Mario, and a ton other of your favorite games, Donkey Kong, Zelda, Star Fox, Pikmin, and so many more. And acting as our translator is Bill Trennan, who is the director of product marketing at Nintendo. This was so much fun. I hope you guys enjoy it. And let me know in the comments below what your favorite Nintendo game is and who your favorite Nintendo character is. So, I mean, first of all, I think a lot of people are really excited about the 30th anniversary next year of Super Mario. Now, oh. what do you want to tell us about that? I mean, what is going to be something that we can look forward to? What do yeah, we wanted to do something for, to celebrate the 30th anniversary of Super Mario Brothers, and it just so happened that we were working on Mario Maker, so the timing is, is sort of mm -hmm. perfect. Um, Mario Maker is a game that, you know, when we were working on the original NES Mario, Super Mario Brothers game 30 years ago, every level we had to first draw on paper before we put it into the game. Um, and it was a big process, but with Mario Maker, it's a game where you can design the level and as you're designing it, you can jump in and play and try it out. Um, and so it's very fast and, and very fun. Mario Maker is あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あ
ゲームにしようとしてます。Yeah, I mean, there may even be times where you forget what your goal is、uh, because you're doing other things on the side. Um, and there may be times where you go into one big long dungeon, or there may be times where you're headed to a dungeon and you're doing other things along the side. But what we're trying to do is design it in a way that、um, you don't necessarily have to sit down and play it for a super long time, but kind of more matched to today's lifestyle, where you can, you can think for a little bit and say, oh, maybe I just want to play for a little bit today and do this one thing and get that done and then take a break. That's great. Now, you said that, I believe if I heard this correctly, Star Fox will be out before Zelda.、Oh. So, is that that is true? Star Fox is Zelda no mai ni deru. Zelda no mai ni deru hazu desu. Yes, it should be out before Zelda. <laughs> We're working hard to do that. That's awesome. So, I mean, what do you want to tell me about the new Star Fox? I'm working on it and playing it every day, so I'm working on it and playing it every day, so my hands hurt. Oh no! I'm working on it and playing it every day, so I'm working on it and playing it every day, so I'm working on it and playing it every day, so I'm working on it and playing it every day, so I'm working on it and playing it every day, so I'm working on it and playing it every day, so I'm working on it. 書くんですねで遊ぶ方が適当に自分で見ながらその自分のかっこいいシーンを見たりとことん攻撃をしたりっていうふうにして新しい遊び方のできるシューティングゲームができそうです。So, with Zelda, we're using the gamepad、uh, for the map features, and it's very handy for that. But with Star Fox, we're doing something very different. What we have on the gamepad screen is, is a cockpit view, and on the TV screen, you've got a third person, more cinematic view.、Um, and as you're playing, what you'll find is that you'll, you'll spend your time looking back and forth between the two. And when you want to see the really cool cinematic visuals as you're playing, you'll look up at the TV screen. And when you got, want to get really serious about battling an enemy, you'll look down at the cockpit view.、Um, and so So, it gives a lot of different perspectives and how you're able to kind of switch between the two and play while there's these beautiful cinematics going on on the TV screen.、Oh, do you have a favorite Star Fox character? Ah, well, I think you know, my eyebrows kind of look like a fox. So, I think my eyebrows kind of look like a fox. So, I think my eyebrows kind of look like a fox. ね、and actually, in my neighborhood near my house, there's a, there's a shrine that's called、uh, Fushimi Nari, and the,、uh, the kind of the, the spirit of the shrine is, takes the shape of a fox. Oh, wow. Yeah, and apparently, <laughs> it's the, the most popular spot in Kyoto now with,、uh, with tourists from overseas. That's awesome. Well, I know we're the first place I will be visiting. <laughs> <laughs> so I think we have a little Star Fox here. So, how do you see the amiibos integrating into possibly Zelda or Star Fox, or is that something we haven't talked about yet? Star Fox to Game Zelda. Game の中に Amiibo をどう使うかっていう話は。これはねまだまだ言えないんですよね。ああ、can't really say just yet。けどね、okay. 何かあの少しでもこれをアミーボを持ってる人が嬉しいことをちょっとずつでも入れようというふうに考えてますけど、今はまだ言えない。But、uh, but we do plan on doing something so that people who have amiibo will get some enjoyment out of having amiibo and using them in those games。Yeah, I love even Mario Kart just being able to unlock the skin suits and that's just that's really fun。そうですね。スーツのあのアンロックもすごい面白いですね。はい。You know, Captain Toad Treasure Tracker has been really fun. It's such a cute game and I was wondering, is Captain Toad the same Toad from like the original Super Mario Brothers? Or is it like, I mean, how many Toads are there? <laughs> <笑>それは分からない,ないそう最初ねキノピオを作った時にはね男の子か女の子かも決めてなかったなんかあのキノピコが出てきたことで男の子みたいになったんですけどもまだ僕の中ではそれも決めてないっていう。Yeah, actually, when we made the original Toad, we didn't really have in mind whether Toad was a boy or a girl.、Um, we just made the character Toad. And then, ever since Toadette has started appearing in games, I think people have come to take the impression that Toad was a boy because Toadette was a girl.、Mm -hmm. But、uh, obviously, there's, there's lots of different Toads that have been in a lot of different games. Galaxy <laughs> 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 キノピオが出てきたのでね。だから
多分普通のキノピオが隊長の格好をしてるだけじゃないですか。<笑> so Captain Toad, you know, in, appeared in Super Mario Galaxy, and there were other Toads in that game too. But I think maybe Captain Toad is really just a normal Toad who just happens to be wearing those Captain type clothes. <笑> I see. So what is it about the treasures that they're tracking? Why do they enjoy doing that so much? じゃあなんでその二人があんなにお宝が好きなんですか。なんなんでしょうね。多分あの遊ぶ人の分身なんですね。あのゲームのキャラクターってみんな、うん、だから多分みんな宝を探すのが好きなんじゃないですか。<笑>それとみんなでこうあの宝探しなんですけど、横で見てる人がいろいろアドバイスしながら一緒に遊べるゲームがだいぶ浮遊でできてきたなと思いますね。So yeah, I think you know they they really represent the player in the game. So I think that they like treasure hunting because players like treasure hunting.、Uh, and what's fun is the way that you you rotate the little worlds around and you see where the treasures are. And it's designed in a way where the person who's playing is doing that with the gamepad, but the people sitting around you are looking up at the TV screen and giving you advice while you're playing and giving you tips on where to go. So I'm a really huge Nintendo DS fan. I've always been such a huge fan of handheld gaming, dating back to the Game Boy. I mean, I had the Game Boy Light, I had the magnifying glass, I had the whole set. Oh, yeah. yeah, what is this? This is a special version. This is a this is a special version of the 3DS hardware that's available just this this holiday. あのアメリカのに入れたので自分の身を自分で作って入れたところなんですよだからまだ帽子もかぶってない So I put my me in here usually on my own 3DS I have a me with a, a Mario hat on but、oh, I don't have the Mario hat yet So when you play do you mostly play in 3D or do you play in 2D?、Okay. I, watch a, I watch a little bit of both you know sometimes if I'm, if I'm watching the cinema scenes then I put those in 3D and, oh, somebody's at my gate somebody's at my gate Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to. I need to take a picture for Instagram. <laughs> this, is, this is exciting. So, how is it too, like with the internet? Everything is so quick and so fast. I mean, I used to sit by my mailbox waiting for my Nintendo power so that I could get、oh, the latest news.、Yeah. And that was the only way because none of my friends really played and were as into it as I was.、Yeah. So, how has that changed as far as breaking news,、um, taking user feedback, and things like that and when you're developing? Yeah, I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. 世界中同時じゃないとどんどんダメになっていったのでそれが大変です。Yeah, it's very fun for us, but at the same time it's hard because what it means is we have to be better about launching our products at the same time worldwide. That's true. That is very true. So, do you have anything coming up for the DS that you can share with us? あ、DS で何か共有できるものはありますか？いろいろあるんですけど、もうあのねすでに動物の森も友達コレクションもあのポケモンも出てますけどね。あの。まあ、僕がかかってればカービィあカービィじゃないわえっとヨッシーを遊んでほしいのと、うん、それから、えー、何でしたっけあスマブラ来,来年ですよねあ来年はあ,あれは、えー、とスティームありますあと,、えー、とムジュラあそうそうそうそう<笑>忘れてた<笑>あのスティームってスティームって言ってるそうですねコードネームスティームコードコードネームスティームも出てきますし、結構あのコアゲームなものも出てくるんですよ。でムジュラはねえっと本当にえっと二三年かけて前のものを結構タッチアップしたので結構楽しみですよ。So yeah, 3DS obviously we've we've already released a lot of games for it like Animal Crossing. This year we had Tomodachi Life.、Uh, there's Yoshi's New Island.、Uh, Pokemon just released. And,、uh, and then next year we have a couple of games that are Uh, you know, we have Codename Steam, which is much more kind of core gamer focused.、Mm -hmm. And then, of course, Majora's Mask is coming. And that's one that we've spent quite a bit of time touching up and improving some of the rough edges. I think that's going to be exciting, especially the throwback to, to the old games. So I think everyone's going to be really excited about that. Yes, for the one that I'm going to be excited about. Is there anything else you want to tell us about it? I don't know what I'm going to say. I'm going to say. まだ,まだ作ってるのあるんですけどね、また今言えないですね。Yeah, not that I can share right now. Okay, I'll come back. <笑> so 2015, super excited. Is there anything else that you want to share with us to the internet, to my internet friends out there? あ、ごめんなさい。紹介したいこと。僕また言いたいことありました。Oh, there was one other thing I wanted to talk about. バーン。Oh. Splatoon. <笑> Wii U ですけどね。This is a Wii U game. これ今ね、あのうちの若いチームで作ってるんですよ一緒。それであのかな本当にねあの任天堂らしいアクションが気持ちいい。しかもあのシュシューターで対戦もできるし
でグルあのインターネットでも楽しめるししかも一人用も結構ね充実してきたので楽しみにしてください。So yeah, this is a Wii U game. The, the team that's making it is mostly the younger members of our development teams all together on, in one group. And it's, it feels like a very traditional Nintendo game. The action feels really good in it,、um, but it's sort of a, a shooter and you'll be able to play online. But also, they've, done,、uh, they've put a lot of effort into creating a very robust single player mode as well. What's the whole kind of world? Character is not a good thing. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. So there's、uh, the characters, there's these squid boys and squid girls, and what they do is they spray ink around the, the world, and what, they can transform into squid and swim through their color of ink,、um, and it feels really good to swim through that. And the, the concept of the game is that you're, you're spraying ink to cover the world and claim territory, and so it's essentially a game of trying to claim. More territory than the other team. So it's a, a kid's version first person shooter. Ah, so, but it's also really fun for adults too. Well, oh, no, <laughs> by kids, I mean, obviously, we're all going to play them too, but it's a kid friendly kind of version. So, yeah. Yeah. Ah, Yoshi, Wii U, the Dirty Sorai. Oh, we do? have a Yoshi game coming. It's a Yoshi that's made out of yarn. It's called Yoshi's Woolly World. It's a Yoshi that's made out of yarn. It's called Yoshi's Woolly World. It's a Yoshi that's made out of yarn. It's called Yoshi's Woolly World. シンプルなアクションゲームで楽しいですよ。And this is a, at its core is a simple action game that anybody can play. And so how did Yoshi get woven into yarn? Yoshi はなんでケイトになったんですかえっとね、もともとヨッシーってイラストレーションでパステルで描いたり、で、あの、ケイトのカービィのシリーズがあったんですけど、ヨッシーってすごくそのケイトのシリーズに合ってるっていうので、で、実際のヨッシーのケイトの人形を作ったりしながら開発したんですね。Well, yeah, the Yoshi games originally we always did the artwork in very pastel colors. And so after we made the, the、uh, Kirby's Epic Yarn game,、uh, we thought, you know what, the, the, the whole feel and style of Yoshi would match really well with sort of this yarn motif.、Um, and so that's where it started. And so what we did was first we, we made an actual yarn Yoshi and started development from there. That's really cool. And I love sort of taking that simplistic things, like even Paper Mario, and, and turning it into sort of just a really fun game that, that people can enjoy. I've been making、uh, some animation as well. Download the Kairu in this case, and you can buy these、uh, from the eShop and download them. Oh, wow! So there's, there's three Pikmin short movies, and then there's some additional bonus content in there, too. These are so cool! This is great. これね、じっと見るアニメーションなんですけどボタンを押すとね他のいろんないろんな効果音するだからアニメーションを見ながら自分で音をつけて<笑> so you can, you can watch the,、uh, the Pikmin short movies and then you can press the buttons to make different sounds to go along with the movies <笑> that's really cute oh my gosh they're so adorable でこれねあの言葉ないんですようん、とかあとかしか言わない yeah so the Pikmin they don't, they don't speak they just, they just make 世界中で同じものを見るね So, everybody in the world can see the same thing. <laughs> so, he has one more of those special 3DS hardware systems. So, this will be a present for you today. <laughs> really? I might cry. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so, so, so much. Oh my gosh, this is absolutely amazing. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure you hit like and share it with your other Nintendo loving friends. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Just wanted to show you where the Nintendo 3DS ended up. It's new home for the rest of its life. <laughs>